What is shadow? When you place an object between your eyes and a source of light, will you be able to see the source of light? The answer is no. This means that there is a region behind an object where light from the source cannot reach and that particular region will appear dark. This dark region, what we call is the object's shadow. We have learned that the light travels in a straight line. When light reaches an object, it can travel through an object if the object is transparent, but it cannot if it is an opaque object. Shadows are produced when light hits an opaque object which prevents the light beams from passing through it. When an object blocks the light's path, then darkness appears on the other side. This darkness is called as shadow. Let us take an example where the sun is a source of light. As the earth rotates each day, the sun appears to change its position in the sky and changing angles of sunlight affect the appearance of shadows. For instance, on a sunny day, take a potted plant in the ground and watch its shadow move and change shape. When the sun gets low in the sky, the potted plant's shadow gets longer. Let us perform a simple experiment to note that the shape and size of the shadow produced are determined by distance between an object and its light source. Suspend a ball from the ceiling with the help of a strong thread. Light a torch and hold it at some distance from the ball. Ball being an opaque object blocks the path of light from the torch and shadow is formed on the wall. Observe the size of the shadow. Now let us observe various instances. If the distance of the object which is the ball from the source which is the torch is decreased then the size of the shadow increases. If the object which is the ball is moved away from the source which is the torch, then the size of a shadow decreases. If the distance between the object which is the ball and the wall is constant and if the light source which is the torch is moved towards the object, then the size of its shadow increases. Now we get down to the conclusion that the size and shape of the shadow of an object depends on the orientation of the object with respect to the beam of light. The shadow changes in size and shape when the object is placed at a different distance in the path of light.